Hey, I'm going to show you how to play against some custom Rocket League bots the easy way. Right through here, we have this RLBot GUI installer. And it's going to take a second to start, but once it downloads, we'll have a great program that will help us get started with just a few clicks. Okay, here it's downloading. And we're going to have to say, keep. And you can trust me. And then we click on this, and you have to trust me one more time and say more info and run anyway. And then you get a little prompt that's appearing off screen. Uh, and now you can click next to continue. Install just for me works the best. Install that. And once this is done, you will have in your start menu something called RLBot GUI. So just click the Windows key. Oops, let me do it on this screen. And I'm going to search for RLBot. It's right here. This is going to open up a little command prompt, and the UI will pop up. So right now, uh, I only have human and psionics bot, but we actually want custom bots. We have a bot pack you can download right here. This will get constantly updated with the latest and greatest bots that our community makes. And this is downloading a zip file right now. As soon as it's done, the bots are going to show up right here. Beautiful. All right, so let's say I'm a human and I want to play against a couple sticks and a leaf. And I want to play on Urban Central. You just click start and this thing Activated. will open up Rocket League for you and it's going to patch the bots into the game. Um, just be careful once you do this you have to close the game uh, and restart it before you can play online properly. But no big deal. Okay it opened up Rocket League for me. I'm dragging it over and here I am in a game against stick and stick and leaf. And they're going to score on me. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Some of these bots are really, really good. We've got some programming and math geniuses in our community. And you can be one too. In fact, let's take a quick look at the inside of a bot. If you take a little click here on this folder, it'll open up the files that control the way stick drives. So for example, you could click on this. If you have a text editor that can handle Python files, you can just double click it. If not, come see us in Discord. And oh gosh, I'm clicking on all the wrong things. Um, here's stick. Now a lot of his brain seems to be hidden away behind these functions, but um, let's look inside feedback. What's going on here? I have no idea. Why did I pick this bot? I don't know how this bot works at all. But listen, if you make any changes to this file and save it, it's going to immediately impact the way the bot is driving in the game. It's a great way to kind of explore how the programming works. Uh, now what else can I show you? We can change the mode, we can play hockey, we can do mutators, we can all do all kinds of stuff. It's just a drag and drop to change the teams around. You can run little bot competitions. Just take the human out and, and throw some bots in here and just start the match and it'll switch over to the new setup. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, if you want to learn programming, if you just want to watch and see what's next, you should join our Discord. Lots of friendly people, lots of stuff going on all the time. In fact, we've got a big tournament coming up. So I hope to see you there. I hope you enjoy playing around with these bots. I know I do. Uh, I will see you guys next time.